Greetings and salutations, folks. We are fresh off wholesome childhood trauma from the smalls. You think about that line. <laughs> it was good character development, thus wholesome. Also, there were bunnies. Bunnies make everything wholesome. Bunnies make things a bit of a problem. I'm sorry, but that was actually... We needed some way for that envelope to disappear for those that don't know what's going on. <laughs> ah. And yes, chapter three is over. Thank fucking Christ. So to break it down, chapter one, Mel. Good kid. Good kid. We well, like him. Good kid, way too passive for dealing with problems that later came around to bite him in the ass. But to be fair, you could understand that. Chapter 2. Well, you just need to see Chapter 2 on you. Just now. Uh, Daddy and the Beast gone horrifyingly wrong. Really? So, inspiration for Carver confirmed? A distal inf inf influence on uh, Carver. It's come down to the problem with uh, Chapter 2 is he's got about three different times Timelines going on at the same time. Yeah, that, that got confusing really fast. Yeah. I mean, at least they got it all consolidated and actually tied it up neatly as opposed to making us go scream. Higurashi? Yes, Higurashi. Chapter 3. Oh dear Rage. God. Rage. 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 And knife twisting. Lots of knife twisting. Pain, pain, so much pain. Oh, the maid's bugged off again. Okay, let's head to the front door and get the fuck out, because this is getting ridiculous. What? What? What's the map? I'm guessing this ain't the maid. No. Hello? Well, that confirmed it. It was not the... We figured it wasn't the maid's voice because it wouldn't be going question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh god, this music. Yeah, this, this music's really pretty. This is where I really hope I got the volume bounce right. Because when this music does, does music good, it does it good. And it's done music mostly good. Well, except for in chapter two, when there's the one track which sounds like something's having a stroke. <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> I think it's like the one song we didn't like, and we were both cringing, and they played it for way too long. I think you played it fairly a lot with Pauline sections. Yeah, poor Pauline got the short end of the stick music wise. She got the short end of the stick quite a bit. Yeah! <laughs> I, you don't remind me, that poor woman! Ah, now it's Super Mario 64, everyone! Or Bendy and the Ink Machine, what the fuck?! 
Why is the painting talk to us? Talking to us? Well, we ended up talking to someone when we touched a mirror. Yeah, but that was more like we went into a door, like, from chapter three or something. This is- We are literally talking to a fucking painting! So... I think I remember... So things not to add to the shining, shining light guild. Talking paintings. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think Magpie's run into that one yet! I mean, at least it's friendly. Oh god, you're gonna have Magpie run into a talking painting and her running screaming or something. No, the worst thing is someone's trying to get a pose for a painting again. You're gonna need a Ludwig to convince her of that. Um, okay? I think we've cracked. I, I legit think we've cracked. Well, of course, you know, we have three tales of nonsense going on. You know, we didn't mention this. Well, we can ask it some questions. Agency! My god. Well, let's... Who are you, dude? I'm glad you're self-a-fucking-where! What's your name? Go, Tommy. Okay, you... fair. How did you get me born as a painting? Oh. Oh. This is... house is getting more fucked up by the second. Is this the painter that was mentioned in the first chapter? Maybe. Yeah, who's him? Is it Mel or is it Mikel or Michael? What is that? Whatever his name is. Yeah. And how the fuck are we supposed to tell him you're sorry? Did the game just hear me? Possibly. It's getting creepy and I'm not sure it's technically a horror game! I mean, it's already scared me twice. Am I? Okay, he actually has a valid point. You are dumb. Okay, is this a level 15 Gloomstalker or something? Because they, they have the shadows around them. 
Yes, I've looked so deeply into that class, it's hilarious. I see, but of course this which Ava's master are you? Three? We hope not. Harming was very brief. <laughs> Multiple times. You know, let's bring this up in the light of the small session we just had. Well, it's not necessarily the same thing, but it was wounds reopened. Yeah, magpie's wounds. It has given me a few ideas for, like, her character a little bit, like what she's going to do in between this and this past session and the next session, aside from the cute image of her crying so hard that she fell asleep in Ludwig's arms. But she did have to kind of face her own tragedy that was... And she didn't even make herself forget it. The memories were taken from her on top of that. Yeah. Hell of a way to get them back, though. Just this image of a little Gloomstalker baby. When your DM I ever asks you, did you ever have any siblings? And the answer you give is no. Well, my answer was, I don't know, because I never thought about it. And now the answer is, we don't know if she still has siblings. From the answer you gave, it got an extra layer added to the harvest, and it just got bowed on and bowed on. Oh, well, at least Pumpkinhead's gone. <laughs> that is one thing. Magpie has technically avenged her brother. What the fuck is this place, dude? Maybe that's why he's actually a semi-happy person? Mm. This place is definitely depressing. Oh! Well, this confirms a few things for us! Yep. This place is fucking alive! The mansion is sort of like Silent Hill. With reincarnation! Yeah! Oh, that's a good point. Organa, or the white-haired girl. 
or the maid. So, who the fuck is the maid? Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Oh, God! Well, no, we figured she's not. I'm glad they didn't make us, like, we can only pick, like, some questions and not others. We got to actually ask everything we were thinking. That was a nice choice. Yeah, and it's kind of interesting we got a lot of information about the manor. The dead stay in the halls, which would explain why, you know, we could go into these other memories and stuff. What is saying? A set of ejects. Would that be the next choice? I say we accept. I mean, the painting's been friendly. Well, he is the painting. Good night, then. Thank you, sir. So when the painting talks, it turns into, like, basically black ink, but when he's sleeping, he's a landscape. Yeah. Good to know. We, we have choices. Oh my god. Let's start at the beginning. Let's go to the entrance. No, looking like we can get out here. There we began. Did 
Did we fall asleep? That we did. We got a little. I think we got another little piece of the past of this place, but it was actually a nice piece of the past. Yeah. That was past. Mm -hmm. Or maybe one of the other masters, because. Noting that there's like, what, three games? To the prequel and the side story. Yeah. The den, I guess? Well, this looks familiar. Yeah. I didn't do that. Haunted, haunted snooker table. Get the vacuum. Hi. Jacopo? Maybe. Like an older Jacopo. The Rose Garden. Get the hell away from us, Nelly. Fuck! Why did we come here again? I'm an idiot! I'm sorry! I am really suspecting this is a male. I 
thing is, Mel, I know, like, you were saying, like, oh, he was too passive dealing with problems, like, but he probably didn't know what to do. Oh, God, yeah. Well, let's, let's get the cellar over with. Yeah, I need to put a warning about jump scare in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has ever managed to leave. Like a fucking painting. Library, yeah, library. Uh, let's go to the library. Please, let's, let's, let's. <laughs> Chapter two, once again, just scared the shit out of me. one but pfft. well shit <laughs> I'm sorry that was funny well fuck you <laughs> Broken. We have the key. Yep. 